What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is time to weigh myself because it's Saturday. We got to check the scales now. Hopefully, I'm right up. Work! Work, God damn it! I should really invest in another actual battery. I'll probably buy some today because it's getting quite annoying now because I've done it probably like the last four days. I to weigh myself every Saturday. Okay, so since obviously I've actually still am dropping weight, and I um, was so tempted to have a refeed day. I'm still gonna have a refeed day. So pretty much, you only meant to really have a refeed day when you're really feeling sluggish, really you have no, like, like to the point where you just feel so drained. Either your weight's not shifting or you're not just making progress. Essentially, a refeed day pretty much means that it's a higher carbohydrate in one day or across two days or however you want to do it. There's many ways how you can do it. I normally do it just for one day. The deeper you are into a deficit, it's going to be harder to you to burn like fat. So I think like it's a flame. So obviously, like eventually it's going to die out. So as soon as you have a refeed day, it's going to spike you back up. And after eventually it's slow back down. Also, you should have this like every week. It's it's like a tool, so you should only have this like once a while. Some people normally have a cheat day. I normally have a refeed day. And when I have a cheat day, it's more like a cheat meal that will still fit my macro, so it's not really a cheat day. So that's why I'm gonna do a refeed day today, cause I need to shift my body, me weight, me fat a lot faster. Today's macros. My normal macros, obviously for today, because obviously for today's my high carb day, which is 330 grams of carbs and perhaps proteins is 200 why is it very echoey here? and fats are 60 so that's what it's like my normal days what I'm going to have instead for today so my fat stays the same, my protein stays the same but I'm going to double I mean double my carbohydrate so it's going to be 660 grams of carbohydrate just for today so I'm going to make my first meal right now so to the kitchen about to shave my breakfast. It's not even breakfast right now, it's like 3 p.m. 3 p.m. is my breakfast. This is actually gonna be my first meal now for today. I'm gonna show what you have, like I say, like always, I don't really have my carbohydrates in the morning. I always leave it later to the day because I have it around my training time. So what I'm gonna have right now, I'm gonna have 20 grams of peanut butter, 100 grams of kale, 90 grams of cauliflower rice, and obviously you've got some two eggs, and I've got some sauce on top, so obviously the spices I use, obviously it's always paprika, and also I've got low sugar ketchup, because everyone knows I love ketchup, and I also recently bought this Caesar salad dressing, just a little bit on top. This is like a weird combination, obviously you've got your peanut butter, ketchup with it on the side and obviously you see this out. it's just such a random combination. Total macros for this is 23 protein, 10 carbs, 7 fiber and 21 fats which is not too bad considering it's just veggies, it's just considering just fat and protein and just veggies which is not bad. And it finishes off because look at that this is probably cold already which is not good I mean, I'm literally got to a point where I'm like starving so much like yesterday I was shouting at my cousin because I was just so hungry like I was just so hangry and I'm like that right now I'm just like I just can't wait to eat all this food so I'm gonna have two bagels 30 grams of jam on top and on the side I've got 55 grams of Cheerios 200 grams of whatever cereals it's called something blueberries and 10 grams of honey on top normally when i put my bagels in the toaster it would normally get stuck the last time i literally put this inside it completely got stuck and like it was all gone mm. i normally fold my bagels or if it's not toasted i scrunch it all literally into a ball just because it's easier to eat but i'm hoping this wow look that is so dry Even though that it's still dry and still gonna hope it's really nice, so it's a weird combination. Ow. Mm -mm. I'm definitely not feeling that. No, it was out of this, 
or like the Cocoa Pops version and they had chocolate inside it, yeah, I would go for the healthier version. I regret it. Oh, hello. Finally, I have upgraded compared to obviously like before when I got the cheaper version. Hoping it's been nice. This is chocolate chip cookie per whole tub, 360 calories. So it's 68 carbs, 12 fat, and 20 protein for a whole tub of goodness. Stop when you hit the bottom. No, don't tell what to do. Open. One hand can be quite hard. Look at that. That to me is so delicious. Come on. Oh shit. That whole scoop. It's a whole to whole scoop of this. Well, I'm not actually going to have all this right now. Because it's not going to be. It's cold. Considering it's only 360, 360 calories, it's actually not bad. What would I rate it out of 10? 6.5. I think, I think what, with me, obviously, because I don't have much craving, so that's why I'm like, eh, it's all right. It will never be a bagel. I'm gonna munch on this. Now I'm gonna have dinner with me family, because it's Easter today. And obviously I'm not gonna track that macro, so I'm gonna attempt to guess it. And obviously I'm gonna sh like get a quick clip of what I'm gonna have, but that's me a rough guess. A rough, rough guess, so hoping. Is it even good? Because it smells nice? So last meal of the day, this is such such a weird combination. And I think I've got another probably 21 grams of carbs. So if I hear 20 grams of carbs, I'm gonna have a banana. Banana. Five mini croissants with chocolate on top. 10 chipotle sausages, 500 grams of cooked jasmine rice, bit of beef there. Gonna have to guess it because also I didn't measure that one. I didn't say anything when I came to earlier dinner with my family. But also people probably thinking, would I actually eat, eat this like in day to day? Yes and no. I wouldn't eat croissants, chocolate, ice creams. I typically try and stick to my diet, if you can say it's called diet. About 80% like healthy. So like this, bagels, that's like rice, bagels, my oats, my Cheerios. I classify, I, to me I classify that as my healthier option. My unhealthier option is probably like eating out. And that, that will still hit my daily requirements. But I'd, my personal opinion, I'd rather eat something, stuff that's a lot more healthier just because obviously I feel a lot more, I feel more satisfied. I get more enjoyment rather compared to if it was like bad food. It's not really bad. Food that I don't actually normally eat. That's why I prefer normally eating this stuff. Also, what I actually really want to show like what I normally eat a day-to-day -day thing. Just obviously because one, you already know what I eat the day-to-day. Two, it's just going to be repetitive. So that's why I like trying to mix up when it comes to these videos. But in a day-to-day -day thing, I eat normally like these type of like pain boy and stuff. To me, I enjoy it. Macros on the screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, obviously, if you lasted this long on the video. And I'll see you in the next one.